Today, we'll learn how to sort data by multiple columns in Excel. This is a powerful feature that can help you organize complex data sets more effectively, whether you're managing a list of clients, organizing sales data, or just tidying up your information. Let's dive right in and see how it's done. First, let's take a look at our data. Imagine we have a spreadsheet containing a list of employees, and we want to sort them first by department and then by last name within each department. Sorting by multiple columns allows us to create a more structured and hierarchical view of our data. To begin, open your Excel file with the dataset you want to sort. Make sure you select the entire dataset or at least the part you want to sort. This usually involves clicking and dragging from the top left corner to the bottom right of your data, ensuring all relevant columns and rows are highlighted. Once your data is selected, navigate to the Data tab at the top of Excel. In the Sort and Filter group, click on the Sort button. This will open the Sort dialog box where you can specify multiple levels of sorting. In the Sort dialog box, you'll see options to choose which column you want to sort by first. In our example, we'll start by sorting the data by the Department column. Click on the drop-down menu under Column and select Department. You'll also see options to sort on values, cell color, font color, or cell icon. For now, we'll stick with sorting by values. Next, choose the sort order for the department column. You can choose A to Z for ascending order or Z to A for descending order. For our purposes, we'll sort A to Z so that departments are listed alphabetically. Now that we've set the primary sort level, let's add another level to sort by the last name within each department. Click on the Add Level button in the Sort dialog box. This will add a new sorting level beneath the first. For this new level, select Last Name from the drop-down menu under Column. Again, make sure Values is selected for the type of sorting. Choose A to Z for ascending order so that last names are sorted alphabetically within each department. At this point, you have two levels of sorting. First by department, then by last name within each department. You can continue adding levels if needed, such as sorting by first name as a third level. Just click Add Level again and repeat the process with your chosen column. Once you've set up all the sorting levels you need, click OK to apply the sort. Excel will rearrange your data according to the criteria you've specified. You'll see that your data is now neatly organized first by department and then by last name within each department. Sorting by multiple columns is a great way to make complex data sets more readable and easier to analyze. It allows you to focus on specific aspects of your data and organize it in a way that makes sense for your project. That's it for this tutorial on sorting by multiple columns in Excel. We hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more Excel tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time.